Hi, I'm Dr. Chen from Medical Imaging Team, Vinrup Big Data Institute, Hanoi, Vietnam. I would like to present our work, a CNN LSTM architecture for detection of intracranial hemorrhage on CT scan. Classifying intracranial hemorrhage is a challenging task. The main difficulty of dealing with 3D imaging is the 3D representation of the data. An eye approach to this problem is to know the 3D contextual information and treat every image independently. An alternative approach is to utilize 3D convolutions to learn directly from voxels, but this method costs large amount of memory. In this work, we propose a more efficient training strategy for 3D medical imaging. A method of touch along short-term memory on top of convolution neural network so that the whole model can be trained end to end. Take advantage of imminent retrained model by still modeling the spatial dependency between adjacent slide in 3D space. We validate the method on the recent ISNA intracranial hemorrhage detection challenge and on the CQ500 dataset. The SNA dataset consists of over 25,000 non contrast brain CT study with 20 to 60 slides each. The dataset is manually labeled with slide level for five intracranial hemorrhage sub time. The dataset is split into a public trend, a public test, and a private test by the challenge organizer. The CQ500 dataset consists of nearly 500 studies that have between 15 to 128 slides each. The dataset is manually labeled on scan level for the similar 5 hemorrhage subtype. For each slide, we apply three standard CT windows the brand window, the subdural window, and the bonding window, and stack them to obtain the RGB line image. The model consists of a CNN backbone followed by a by LSTM. First, the CNN light resnet extract the feature vector for each line in the study. Then, the feature vectors are fit sequentially to the by LSTM by spatial order to classify each of the five hemorrhage subtypes. The whole model is trained end-to-end -end for 30 epochs using Adam Optimizer with initial learning rate of 1, E-3 and cosine annulling scheduler with linear warm-up. We used two retrained MNF backbone in this study, RedNet50 and SE RedNex50. For the ISNA challenge, we report the performance using the challenge metric weighted lock loss. Our single model result on bar with the top 3% ranking on the cargo leaderboard. When model and samples are allowed, the next table report the luxification performance in terms of area on the curve while two models on the CQ rate in comparison with the original method. It is noteworthy that despite the data distribution shift and not being optimized for the scan level prediction task, our model still generalize very well and outperform the original method by large margin. Our paper and short code are available online. And thank you for your attention, WinBDI, for supporting this research and the middle 2020 organizer.